We've discussed domain a few times already in this course, but this time we're going to write our domain and set builder notation instead of interval notation. So let's do a few examples. Let's take a look at f of x equals 1 over x plus 3. This is a pretty simple rational function. We can clearly see that the domain is all real numbers except for negative 3, since that's what makes our denominator 0. So we can write our domain in what's called set builder notation. And that looks like this. We're going to do those fun squigglies. That wasn't great. There we go. So our domain is all x such that x does not equal negative 3. So that is what set builder notation looks like. Interval notation, again, looks like this when we exclude negative 3 because we're including everything else. But we do not need to worry about that in this section. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's say we have g of x equals 1 over x squared plus 3. Right, if we want to think about what values of x if we plug in and then square and add 3, what value will give us 0, right? Well, none. If you do the math real quick off to the side, and you say, well, what value of x makes this denominator 0? You'll end up with x squared is negative 3, and then taking the square root, you'll have imaginary numbers since you can't do this. So there are actually no values that will make the denominator 0 here. Therefore, we can plug in all values, all real numbers. So our domain is all real numbers. How about h of x is x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. Since we have a quadratic in the denominator, we have a potential two numbers that will make that 0. So let's go ahead and factor the denominator. The denominator will factor into x plus 4 and x minus 2. What values of x make that 0? Well, the value of x that makes this 0 is negative 4, and the value of x that makes this one 0 is 2. So writing that domain in set builder will look like the brackets, all x's, such that x does not equal, and we'll do the smaller number first, negative 4, and x does not equal 2.